just came down here just to put my fucking right hand down my pants and start jerking myself off right in front of your fucking comedy place at the Laugh Factory? Huh, faggot? Huh, faggot? You think so, faggot? You wanna see fucking psycho, faggot? Things are gonna be different this time, Lusik. With me as your agent and this awesome sponsorship video that I cooked up, I think we'll get you a gig in- Is, I don't have the time for it. Hmm? Oh, yes, the wisp wrappings. Yes, I completely forgot about them. Here, take this. 
Pried it from the fingers of a drowder years ago. A useful paperweight. <laughs> Certainly shiny enough. Uh, you may find it useful as well. Very well. I've got your back. I am sworn to carry your burdens. You lead, I'll follow. Greetings, friend. Do you ever wonder if there's a Dova deer or a Dova cow? Who says dragon blood must be limited to people? Never seen skunks like that. Anyone wants to tell me how.
Lucas and I met in high school. He was a pretty fun guy to be around. Everyone liked his personality. He was really outgoing. But then, one day, things started to change. He uh, was smoking a lot more. At first, it was just every now and again at a football game. Then it turned in every week, then every day. It became so bad, I, I couldn't understand what he was saying half the time. Every time we tried to get him some help, he'd just push back even more. He'd say things like, you don't understand, this is grime step. To this day, we still don't know what he meant by grime step. All we know is that Lucas destroyed his body because of peer pressure and a lack of self-awareness. It's 15 years later, and I'm still looking after Lucas. He's lost almost all ability to communicate. It's difficult to get any work done because if I leave him alone, he might hurt himself. But when I bring him with me, he wants to talk to the people that he sees. But of course, they're freaked out. They don't, they don't know that he has a problem. Bottom line, if you have a loved one who has this disease, don't wait. Put them down immediately. End their suffering. You seem a little bent out of shape about me calling you a Gaylord jackass, so I'll read some comments that might make you feel a little bit better about yourself. Please die. Why haven't you killed yourself yet? You look fatter, balder, and more like a fucking degenerate here. It's like I'm watching a serial killer molester record his manifesto. Does anyone else feel dirty after watching this? I'm going to go take a cold shower and scrub myself with a brillo pad. That was well said. That noise you make from your throat that you call beatboxing just sounds like you suck one too many big black dicks. Yeah, he has a little bit of cum stuck in his throat. That's kind of fucked up, guys. Pro tip, when recording videos with a smartphone, do it with the phone sideways so you don't get those shit black lines to the side on YouTube. Well, rumba chumba, it, it does no good because this fucker will upload videos sideways, okay? Like, he, he probably thought that if he tilted it sideways, the video would upload sideways. I'm doing a response video once I buy a phone. Lost my phone this last week. Whatever happened to that $420 of fucking gold that's gonna get us to Hollywood? Did you not make it to Hollywood? Oh, that's a surprise. Did Bobby sell it for a new best friend? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Schizophonic TV. This is Lucic Diamond Eyes. <coughs> Dude, he literally cannot help but beatboxing. It's like his Tourette's. Uh, acting, comedy, and beatboxing. Scroll down and uh, check out my new channel. Thank you very much. Check out his new channel that he made in 2011. 71K on my video, this guy uploaded it to a spot called Reddit Ya. I don't want to burst your bubble there, Lucy, but the spot that it was uploaded to on Reddit was our cringe because it was cringy. A hummingbird just flew over my balcony just now. Hi, Dubs. I just wanted to clarify that. Oh, thanks for clearing that up, Lucic. That hummingbird wanted to land on your bird's nest of a head. I want to give this fat, balding 30-year-old some advice about how to street beatbox. Number one, do not enter people's place of business and annoy the fuck out of the customers and the employees there. Two, put your fedora on the ground to catch change. Do not wear it on your head. Three, do not open and close with dubstep beatbox. It sounds fucking annoying, and if, if you want to have it in there, have it in there briefly. Do not open and close with it, you fucking idiot. You, it's, it's tantamount to starting every conversation by yelling at someone. Practice your normal beatboxing, and maybe you can add some dubstep variation here and there. But all you're doing is you're fucking dubstep beatboxing, and it sounds abysmal. Thank you for making such a shitty response video, Lucic Gaylord Eyes. I know that you grew up in the suburbs, had life, great, mommy, daddy, maybe divorced. Ooh, that was the biggest shake of your life. The hardest probably thing you've ever faced. But other than that, life must have been peaceful. Welcome.
Welcome to the road to Sky Blivian. Now that we have a goal set in place, we'd like to break down where we are at and where we need to travel to get there. In this video, we aim to show you exactly what has been completed, what still remains, in order to make our release goal of 2025. Should you feel you have the skills needed to help us achieve that goal, we are always looking for new volunteers. For world spaces, our landscaping and level design serves as the canvas for players to paint their own stories, so we strive to craft as attractive a world space as possible. Though significant strides have been made on various regions, some require more attention, like the grassy West Weald, snowy Valus and Gerald Mountains, and Libanese lakes and forests. By doing so, we aim to make the world more captivating to explore and enhance the visual storytelling aspects for which the Elder Scrolls series is so beloved. The land of Cyrodiil is divided into nine different regions. We start off with the Gold Coast, which recently had all 526 cells landscaped. The Glovian Highlands has all 422 cells landscaped. The Fall Forest and Hardlands region has all 405 cells landscaped. The Great Forest, with its 460 cells, has been fully landscaped in record time. The Geral and Valus Mountains, with 517 cells, has also been fully landscaped. The Swamps of Blackwood have all 803 cells completed. Currently, the West Weald is the least polished area, sitting at 43 out of 284 cells, or around 15%. The Nibane Basin also needs work, with 300 out of the 674 cells completed. And the nearby Nibane Valley similarly sits at around 50% completion, with 155 out of 300 cells finished. The Sky Blivian world map has a total of 4,391 cells, of which we have completed 3,632, or 82.7%. Beyond the borders of Cyrodiil, and even Nern itself, lie 40 unique world spaces. From hostile Oblivion realms, to painted worlds, dreams, and alternate realities ruled by Daedric princes. So far, we've completed 11 world spaces, with most of the remaining 29 being Oblivion Realms, which we're saving for last. Our plan is to use all the knowledge and skills we've gained over the years to make these realms a truly memorable part of the gaming experience. Once a region is complete, the magic of nav meshing can begin. This process involves adding a navigational mesh to the world map, allowing creatures to roam, battle, and follow you. We're currently around a third of the way through this mammoth task, which means that NPCs and quests are fully functional in those completed parts of the map. This is a quicker process when tackled on a cell-by-cell -cell basis compared to landscape. If you have some spare time and are interested in lending a hand, the NavMesh team is always looking for new recruits to help speed things along. Now, let's turn to our interiors. We have a whopping 600 interiors, with 260 completed, or roughly 40% of the total. They are divided into categories, including castles, unique structures, stables, shops, sewers, mines, Inns, homes, forts, chapels, caves, imperial watchtowers, and alien ruins. Of these interior locations, dungeons are by far the most time intensive, accounting for 220 of the total. That's why our focus has been on completing dungeons like caves, forts, and mines first, with 190 either finished or in progress. The remaining 380 interior locations, like houses, shops, and other smaller locations, take a fraction of the time to complete, and are often tackled in larger batches. Whether you're interested in working on houses or dungeons, we warmly welcome your volunteer application. 3D. From the threads that make up your character's garments, 
to the lush forest greenery and the birds that soar high above. Each 3D object and creature infuses life into Cyrodiil. While many object groups are well underway, some areas create a bottleneck for other departments. For instance, if the architecture set for a city hasn't been remade, the level design team can't advance I'm in rebuilding of that area in the game. Furthermore, without recreating all 2,508 of Oblivion's 3D objects from the ground up, we won't meet the required legal standard to release Sky Oblivion. Our plants and clothes are particularly underdeveloped, and we need extra help in wrapping up this extensive list of assets. We have some 615 objects yet to create. Although some could be borrowed from Skyrim, many of them are not suitable for integration into Sky Oblivion. So there remains a long list of assets to recreate from scratch. Our 3D team is chugging away, but we always welcome new artists to lend a hand, even in the final stages of development. Quests. In Sky Oblivion, players can create their own story and make a name for themselves by embarking on the 199 quests available. Out of these quests, 97 are currently playable, 25 are in progress, and 77 still need to be worked on. These quests can be found in various quest lines. Main quests, the Fighters Guild, Mages Guild, Thieves Guild, Dark Brotherhood, Side Quests, Daedra Quests, Arena Quests, and Master Training Quests. Gameplay Systems. Oblivion is renowned for its unique mechanics, many of which are currently operational and in-game. These include the class system, spellcrafting, spells and magic, underwater combat, alchemy, weathers, disposition, and attributes. Additional mechanics may be added in the future. Time will tell. Cyrodiil would never truly immerse the player without Oblivion's iconic music. We are proud to announce that all original tracks have been retained and supplemented with 17 new tracks. Each of the nine regions has a unique new track, complemented by three new dungeon exploration themes. Additionally, the atmospheric music for the Oblivion Realms has been updated for an even more absorbing experience. In regards to DLC, our focus is 100% on Sky Oblivion for now, in order to release the base game at some point in 2025. Once Sky Oblivion is in your hands, we shall turn our attention to the Shivering Isles and other extra content. We've come a long way since the project began in earnest back in 2016. Having a tangible release goal is amazing and terrifying all at once. With your help, we are confident we will meet it. If you feel you have the skills to help us breathe new life into Cyrodiil, please consider applying at www.skyoblivion.com forward slash volunteer. What started out as a simple side project has evolved into one of the biggest modding projects to date. Despite the massive scope of this project, we are finally seeing the end of the road. There is still work to be done. I hope this video has given you a better insight into the project, and perhaps has shown how some of you might be able to contribute yourselves. Only with the Elder Scrolls modding community's talents, and the support of this fantastic community, could we have ever gotten as far as we have. We hope you continue to support us as you have for years, and we are excited to share much more.
This, like any story worth telling, is all about me. Peter Parker. That's me next to her. The heck, I believe in him. Peter, may I introduce my father and Peter? I've heard so much about you. Great honor to meet you, sir. You know, I'm something in the pocket of myself. Yes. Impressive. Really brilliant. I think you're pretty funny, don't you, freak? I don't want to fight you. Peter, I wouldn't want to fight me neither. Kick that man. You're changing. I know. I went through exactly the same thing at your age. Just be careful who you change into. Are you afraid that I'm going to turn into some kind of Tom Holland? Quit worrying about me, okay? Stop lecturing me, please. Right. I'm Peter Parker. Yes. Everyone is. Since we all look the same, it doesn't matter who's running the company. What? The board expects your resignation in 30 days. But you can't do this to me. I started this company. You know how much I sacrificed? Who are you? You know who I am. I do. Because we all look the same. and I are not so different. Bro, we have the same face. Bingo. Do you want to get to say thank you this time? Wouldn't that look like I'm kissing myself, thus making me gay? <laughs> this girl is important to me. Please, look at her. She looks like everyone else. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us... <laughs> Fuck, I got the wrong Peter Parker. My mom still uses Facebook, and every day she gets messages from some random account claiming that she won a bunch of money, or that they want to marry her. Every day seems like a bit of an exaggeration, but to put this to the test, I made my own Facebook account with this good-looking lady and a bunch of posts that say things like, how do I invest my retirement funds? And how do I log into my bank account? Scammers appeared out of nowhere. It was like some shark got a hint of blood, like, like a Bruce from Finding Nemo. They are messaging me, flirting with me. I've got hundreds of friends in the matter of a few days. Like this guy who says, good afternoon, how are you? I see you could be a good agent. What kind of agent? Secret? I've never told anyone a secret before. I know so many secrets. And eventually he says, I don't know what you're talking about. Will you be my girlfriend? It's to the point where I can't keep up accepting friend requests and responding to their messages. And then this guy video calls me out of nowhere. Who the heck is that? Uh... Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, sweetheart. How are you? I should let me just say hi to you. That is the reason why I'm chatting with you. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm glad. I'm. Gosh, you are just. You're a good-looking man. Holy moly! Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're a very beautiful woman too. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. What is that? Who it? What is Facebook? <laughs> this, I, I don't know what this is. I've talked to thousands of scammers over the years, but I've never had one video call me out of the blue just to say how pretty I am. It's kind of gross if you think about it. This is referred to as love bombing. They message you constantly, showering you with praises, encouraging messages, and telling you how you're the love of their life. You can imagine if someone has lost a loved one, maybe is feeling lonely, or doesn't have a lot of friends and family to rely on, that this person messaging them multiple times a day, every single day, with pictures and love, is exactly what they're looking for. I'm gonna make Eli and his scammer buddies look like fools, but don't let this distract you from how serious of a problem this scam can be. I hope that this brings some light 
and humor into an otherwise really dark situation. When I talk to scammers like this, I never give out my real name or location. I mean, in my everyday life, I'm pretty privacy focused. I've been trusting both Hotmail and VPN for years now to keep my email safe and help me stay more private. I'm proud to have them sponsor this video for the people because they are the premier privacy and security focused company when it comes to things like email. They're a Swiss company owned by themselves and they have open source software. They were built on the principle of your data, your rules. So much so that ProtonMail is encrypted end to end. So by design, they can't read the contents of your email. That means they can't sell it to third party companies for marketing. They can't profile you and show you personalized ads. There are no ads in ProtonMail. They're so privacy focused that they literally block tracking and localization down when you use their service. Because ProtonMail doesn't hold the private keys to your email, that means you're less vulnerable to email server hacks. And at the end of the day, your email is private. It's not hosted by some massive company that can look at it whenever they want. My wife and I have used ProtonMail for years. Our business uses it so they are Here's my inbox. Just don't mind the 3,000 unread emails. A lot of them go. To my team, okay. But no ads, no tracking, just email. Proton's paid plan gives you access to multiple emails in one inbox. Support for custom domains, calendar sharing, encrypted files, storage, and even a free VPN. Check out proton.me slash Yaboga to learn more about their commitment to make privacy accessible to everyone. Whether it's for your personal use or your business use, I'm sure you're going to love this. On that note, I'm going to get pretty personal with this guy. So prepare yourself for some memory. I said you have a picture. Hello. Hello. Yeah. 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 The pictures you sent me are beautiful, sweetheart. A very beautiful woman. A very yeah. like like the first time the, the first time we communicated, like I just like I just feel the love because me because it's very it's very hard seeing a woman of your age so beautiful, just like uh Thank you. So nice to hear. Eli is relentless and he starts
What do you need? Take what you need. say. Well, save your breath. The way I see it, you don't have much more than left. It wasn't a threat, fool, but it can be. You seem tired is all. Out of breath. The son of Cloud the Temple named me the Desert Fair. To you, I am simply Sebastian. Cyrodiil, fool, from the steps of Cloud Willa Temple. The blade who had left the service found me as he descended the steps. To him, it would in truth it was just a cowardly mother, waiting for the opportune time and a man. Having left the border, his eyes were indeed tainted with sorrow. Sorry, the girl can be too careful out here. And for that, he picked this kit. Yet it was his newly discovered faith in the workings of the gods that inspired him to develop the skills for which I'm the king. The world is full of such tales of fate and coincidence and all the other instances. Every day we live without incident. Those, I confess, I have killed enough spriggans to start my own sawmill. I could kill you too and sell the bone meal to my farm. Thank you. 
name's Anji. And if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate to put an arrow in your head. Sorry, a girl can't be too careful out here. Like I said, name's Anji, and I've been living out here for a couple of years now. I moved here from Helgen after my family was killed. At the time, I couldn't stand to be around anyone. They all felt sorry for me, and I didn't want them to. It was my problem, not theirs. Don't be like them. Don't feel sorry for me. Two Imperial drunks who thought they were above the law. Already did. Part of the reason I'm living out here now. Thanks for offering, though. I set up those targets a long time ago. I shoot at them from time to time. Don't want to get rusty with my bow. That I am. You know how to use one? Well, let me know if you ever want to practice. If you need a bow, there's one on the rack to the left of the door. Let's see if I can teach you a few things about using a bow. You must... Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. My father was rarely home, so it was my mother who actually taught me how to use a bow. always said composure was the key to a successful archer. If you can remain calm, even in the midst of chaos, your arrow will most likely find its target. Okay, let's see what you can do. Remember, stay within the boundaries and only use the practice arrows. I have some if you don't have any. Aim for the middle target. Right on target. Now hit the target to the left. Great shot. Now hit the target to the right. Nice shot. Right on target. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Next time we'll make it a little more challenging. Huh? It's easy. Stay inside the boundaries, and only use the practice arrows. Here you go. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. My older brother took me out hunting a lot when I was little. At the time, it was difficult to keep food on the table, let alone have enough left over to sell at the market. So whenever we came across more than one deer in a single location, it was imperative we kill as many as we could. If you can learn to keep your composure and trust that each shot is true, then you should be able to quickly handle multiple targets. When I tell you to, try and hit each of the three closest targets in eight seconds. I'll count to three and then say go. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Go! Be careful. You did it! All three targets in eight seconds. Nice job. Next time we'll make it a little more challenging. 
You're that one from the college. Heard about you. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. We've talked about speed and composure. Now we'll go over precision. Oftentimes, you won't be able to get as close to your prey as you'd like, and you'll have to settle with a long shot. However, with such a long shot, it's more than likely that's the only shot you'll be able to take before your prey runs off. If you find yourself in such a situation, then you need to make your shot count. Don't rush your shot. Crouch down, get comfortable, and take aim. Okay, your turn. Try and hit the target way in the back, far behind the other three. Remember to take your time and make your shot count. Nice shot, right on target. Practice some more. Next time we'll make it a little more challenging. For a dragon to attack Heinsgrove? Why? Why there? Is no place safe? They say the college has been snooping around Sarthal. Mages in a burial crypt. No good can come of that. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. We've talked about composure, speed and precision. Now it's time to use all three at once. I'm warning you now, this challenge will be quite difficult. Just remember everything I've taught you, and you should be able to complete it. It may take you a couple of tries, but that's what practice is all about. When I tell you to, try and hit all four targets in ten seconds. I'll count to three and then say go. You have ten seconds to hit each of the four targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three... Hey, watch it! I've got half a mind to go swimming. Take advantage of the sun while it lasts. Time's up. Better luck next time. Need something? Sure. Mm hmm. Count to three and then say go. You have ten seconds to hit each of the four targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Go! Hey, watch it! This is record. Calling in. Um, no, not yet. I know, we're on it, but. Thumbs up! Better luck All next right, time. Reporting out. What business do college mages have in a place like Sarth? Sure. All right, then. I'll 
Count to three and then say go. You have ten seconds to hit each of the four targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Go! Be careful. You did it. All four targets in ten seconds. Nice job. The Gravers have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothka. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. I think I've taught you everything I know. You might even be as good as me now. Kind of scary if I think about it. Very funny. It was my pleasure. It's not often I get visitors out here, let alone friendly ones. Thanks for sticking around and keeping me company. It was nice to finally meet someone out here who doesn't want to rob you or take off your head. I know it isn't much, but here, take this bow. It was given to me by my family. It's special to me, but brings back too many painful memories. Remember, composure and speed. You don't need to see your arrow hit before moving on to your next target. Trust your shot is true. Impressive headgear. Although... <laughs> missing some hair now, are we? You're in luck. I'm actually the top in my class for junk carrying. Needless to say, I'm not very popular at the Academy. Got your back. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Lead on. Who 
whoop that I. Good day. Speaking with reluctantly, I shall.